Russia's second MC-21 aircraft, completely outfitted with domestically manufactured systems, has officially started its certification program for flight testing. The Yakovlev Design Bureau, part of the United Aircraft Corporation, built the aircraft, which flew from Zhukovsky to thoroughly test its new Russian-made flight control motors, electronics, and systems. During the first test flight, experts concentrated on evaluating the aircraft's stability and maneuverability through the use of the newly integrated Russian control system motors. These are essential components that govern the aircraft's response to operator inputs, particularly under diverse aerodynamic forces and throughout various flight phases. Based on the assessment of the testing team, all installed components functioned as anticipated, exhibiting stable performance. The addition of the second aircraft to the program considerably speeds up the overall certification timeline. With two prototypes flying at the same time, engineers can test different parts together, gather more data each week, fix problems faster, and move closer to getting full type certification for the fully domestic MC-21. The flight was conducted by a highly skilled team comprising Hero of Russia and test pilot Oleg Mutovin. The team also included flight test engineers and onboard operators, Oleg Berezin, Anton Kuznetsov, and Grigory Kudryashov, along with first-class test pilot of the Russian Aviation Register, Nikolay Grigoryev. The aircraft conducted a non-stop ferry flight from Irkutsk to the Moscow region, covering approximately 4,300 kilometers before arriving at Zhukovsky. On this airframe, all primary foreign components used earlier in the MC-21 program have been replaced with Russian-made substitutes, including control systems, wing mechanization, avionics, radio electronic equipment, and the power plant. The aircraft is equipped with PD-14 engines, which are developed and produced domestically. These engines are essential to the MC-21's transition into a completely autonomous aircraft platform. The second MC-21 prototype, tail number 73057, sometimes referred to as Aircraft 0013, underwent a full modernization in the year 2025 at the Yakovlev Design Bureau, a division of the United Aircraft Corporation. This airframe originally functioned as one of the early test aircraft assembled with a mix of Russian and imported systems. However, geopolitical and industrial developments transformed it into a key platform for verifying complete technological independence. It was selected for an extensive retrofit that would convert it into a near-serial version of the fully domestic MC-21. The retrofit was not a simple modification. Engineers replaced the foreign engines with Russian PD-14 turbofan engines from the United Engine Corporation. The PD-14 engines, previously tested on earlier models, are a major part of Russia's modern civil aviation engine program, providing efficient, reliable thrust. With their installation, aircraft 73057 was fully transitioned to the propulsion configuration planned for mass-produced aircraft. Along with the engines, nearly every principal system on the aircraft was replaced with Russian origin components. The flight control system, including actuators for the main control surfaces, was upgraded with locally developed hardware. Wing mechanization units, such as flaps, slats, and high lift devices, were replaced with Russian counterparts, allowing the aircraft to test its full performance envelope without depending on imported parts. Stabilizer controls, deceleration systems, and a redesigned fuel supply system were also incorporated, creating a fully domestic operational chain from cockpit inputs to aerodynamic response. Electrical systems also underwent a full overhaul. Wiring networks, power distribution units, and switching equipment were redesigned to match the domestic supply chain developed during the broader import substitution initiative. Landing gear assemblies, avionics suites, environmental control systems, onboard electronics, and the auxiliary power unit were also replaced, ensuring that all major subsystems, mechanical, hydraulic, and digital, can be certified entirely under Russian standards. One of the most important milestones of the retrofit 
was the fully domestic composite wing. The MC-21 program has long been recognized for its advanced use of composites, but sanctions originally disrupted access to foreign materials. Aircraft 73057 became the first platform to receive a wing built entirely from Russian composite materials at this scale. This demonstrated not only progress in domestic composite manufacturing, but also confirmed the aerodynamic and structural benefits required for long-term serial production. After the retrofit, the aircraft was effectively transformed Originally built as a standard mixed-origin MC-21, by the year 2025, it had become a fully localized aircraft matching the final domestic production standard as closely as possible. It now functions as both a certification platform and a technological benchmark for future production. Officials emphasize that this level of system-level localization is a major step for the program. For the first time, an MC-21 demonstration aircraft has been equipped solely with Russian manufactured engines, avionics, mechanical systems, composite structures, and electronic components. This allows flight test teams to evaluate each system independently, as well as in full integration with others, which is critical before certification. The conversion of tail number 73057 from a mixed supplier configuration into a fully Russian design highlights the rapid progress of the program. It also places the aircraft at the center of the certification process, enabling engineers to run tests that reflect real operating conditions. The retrofit marks a major step in technological independence and confirms the MC-21's readiness for eventual commercial deployment. The importance of a fully Russian MC-21 goes far beyond national pride. First, it guarantees technological autonomy. With domestic engines, avionics, wings, control mechanisms, and electrical systems, Russia no longer depends on foreign suppliers. Second, it provides Russian airlines with a modern, fuel-efficient, medium-range aircraft at a time when access to Western aircraft is limited and existing fleets are aging. Third, it strengthens the national industrial ecosystem by supporting tens of thousands of workers, research institutes, composite plants, engine factories, and avionics developers. Fourth, it demonstrates technical progress. The PD-14 engine family offers improved fuel efficiency, reduced emissions, and competitive performance. The composite wing demonstrates Russia's ability to produce advanced lightweight structures that meet global standards. Finally, passengers benefit from a wider cabin with larger overhead bins, wider aisles, and comfort similar to Western narrow-body jet. Certification is a demanding process in which every onboard system must be validated under realistic flight conditions. This includes takeoff and landing performance, engine behavior, emergency procedures, system redundancy, stall characteristics, and many other parameters. The first prototype equipped with Russian systems has already accumulated extensive flight hours. With the second aircraft added, tests can be split between two airframes, speeding up troubleshooting and validation. Authorities expect full certification of the domestic MC-21 by the end of the year, 2026. After that, serial production and deliveries to Russian airlines may begin. Production is expected to scale to dozens of aircraft per year, forming a major part of Russia's fleet modernization strategy. The successful flight of the second fully domestic MC-21 is a major moment. It shows that Russia can develop a modern, competitive, fuel-efficient medium-range airliner entirely with its own technology. If certification and production proceed as planned, the MC-21 could become the backbone of Russia's commercial fleet within the next decade. It also represents technological independence and industrial renewal. The story of the MC-21, from its early development to challenges, import substitution, and full localization, mirrors the evolution of Russian civil aviation. With two aircraft now active in certification testing, that evolution is closer than ever to becoming reality. Today we completed a flight on the M-plane from 21. 
The first serial sample flew another flight according to the selection program. The flight was dedicated to stability of controllability and complete with our domestic drives, domestic units and brake system. The flight was successful, all the basic characteristics of the aircraft and MC-21 which we received during the basic certification were confirmed. The plane does nothing. These drives and the examined area completely fulfill all reaction-based requirements. We will persist in our efforts and are likely to finalize our certification process soon. Today, MS-21 Triso Susilo 10 aircraft with serial number 2013 import substituted aircraft flew one flight under the program of additional certification test. This is in general the beginning of the examination of the aircraft uh, by specialists of the aviation registry. The flight was successful, the entire task was completely completed, there were no surprises, all systems. Domestic production worked perfectly. The characteristics of the aircraft according to the conclusion of the test pilot of the aviation registry practically do not differ from the characteristics of the aircraft which passed the primary certification. After we transferred the plane from Irkutsk to Ramenskoye, a large complex of works was carried out on it. In order to bring the systems, let's say, into operational condition, to refresh the software mathematical support of all systems on Earth, checks were carried out to the fullest extent that can be carried out on Earth. Yeah, this means that the task was written, the task is very large, quite extensive to check the stability of controllability and flight characteristics of the aircraft. Well, almost in the entire height range and in various configurations today, stability and controllability modes were performed with access to the maximum extreme angles of attack at the minimum speed here at various altitudes. In general, I believe that Aircraft 1 passed its exam. There is still a lot of work ahead, continued certification and more comprehensive study by aviation registry specialists. The cars are already in the current phase of imports, replaced. Stability and controllability modes were assessed at high and low speeds. Overloads were assessed, more precisely, the operation of the system during overloads by way. The Hapo. Pitch and roll demonstrated functionality. Adequately, in accordance with the established functional tasks, assess the regime data as acceptable. Uh, here is the system, the rest in flight worked according to the current configuration. Normally, no obstacles to further service flights were found. The plane showed a very good side. Connecting two imports of the replaced MC-21 board to the serration tests is certainly a key moment and a significant milestone. V. Achieving the set goal involves obtaining approval for the major amendment to the type certificate, signifying preparations for the aircraft's import substituted version MC-21 by the board, highlighting a critical milestone within the aviation industry. Following its arrival on November 13th from the Irkutsk Aviation Plant, certification efforts were accomplished swiftly due to the synchronized collaborative performance of interdisciplinary teams, an unprecedented achievement reflecting their dedication and efficiency within the flight test finishing complex. Engineering Center, as well as project cooperation specialists. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.